Well, what's coming is going to be very bad. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the global economic situation coming into 2023. We put that as our number one watch list item for what could ultimately set the table for the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. And we're seeing some of this unfold. We're going to talk about some of the data today. I think this is going to be a generational event. That's why I keep talking about it, because this isn't going to be a run-of-the-mill recession. This is going to be, I believe, a global depression with a global financial crisis in the middle of it to make it even worse. We're going to see the end of this currency, fiat currency system that's dominated the globe for over 50 years. So we're going to have a currency collapse somewhere in there. We're, having, we're going to see, unlike 2008, 2009, where we saw companies go bankrupt, this time we're going to see countries go bankrupt. So this is going to be a big deal. And I believe ultimately this will be bad enough that it will at least help set the table for certain events in the tri tribulation events to take place, or perhaps lead the world into the tribulation through the conditions that are created as a result of this, because this is going to be an event to be remembered, much like the Great Depression. There's hope for our flesh or our body as well as our soul. Peter commented in his famous sermon at Pentecost on what, what uh, David said. Uh, he, David, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. There's a famous story, and i got to be careful. I'll run out of time. But I love this story. There's a statue in Daniel chapter 2 that's a timeline to the second coming of Jesus Christ. And Paul is on a missionary journey, and he goes to Mars Hill, and there's all kinds of statues there. And Paul tells them it's foolish for y'all to do that. There was a time when God put up with that, but now he has commanded all men everywhere to repent of their sins. And he's coming back to judge the world. Now he said, to prove this to you, I'm putting it in my words, God raised Jesus from the dead. What's he telling us? There were people that believed that Jesus would come back a second time, a second coming. But they crucified him. They killed him. No more Jesus. Throw that body in the tomb. Seal it up. Put guards in front of it. He ain't coming back. Guess what? He was raised from the dead. And that's proof that Jesus Christ is coming back. He raised him from the dead so he can come back and judge this world. And I think we're getting close to it. 